Hello and welcome to our second Story Mill tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll talk about how to write your novel in Story Mill. Let's get started. The novel writing program in Story Mill consists of three phases. The pre-writing phase, the writing phase, and the post-writing phase. Let's take a look at how we can achieve this in Story Mill. StoryMill provides you with the ability to keep everything in one file, so we need to create a new project file for your novel. From the File menu, choose New from Template, then choose Novel with Submission Tracking. You can always choose the Novel option without the Submission Tracking, but it will be missing that additional feature. Now let's save the file. From the File menu, choose Save As. Next, let's give your project a name. Let's call it Dark and Stormy Nights. Specify the location you'd like to save your project to, and then click on the Save button. Now, let's take a look at each aspect of the pre-writing process which consists of the following activities. Creating your characters, specifying your locations, performing the tasks associated with your novel, and then finally, doing any necessary research. Let's start with creating your characters. In the Source view on the left-hand side, click on the Characters view. This is the area where you'll store all of the information about your characters. Let's create a character. With the Characters view highlighted, click the Insert button. Next, give your character a name. We're going to name this character Gale. Enter the name and click on the Enter or Return button. Next, since writers are all about writing and rewriting, especially the rewriting, we want to keep track of the status of our character development. To the far right of the toolbar, you'll see a status area. Click on the menu and choose First Draft. In the center of the window is a word processing area where you can start writing your character bios, and below that is a section where you can enter additional information. In the case of the Characters view, the additional information you can enter includes pictures, tags, links, scenes, locations, and info. The first area to the left is the Picture area. You can either add a picture by clicking on the Add button, clicking the Choose button, locating the file, selecting the file, clicking the Open button, and then click the Set button. You can also drag the pictures from the Finder window into the Picture area. The next area is the Tags area where you can add keywords or phrases such as A Story or B Story. These words can be used as filters in a Smart View which we'll cover in our next tutorial. The Links area is where you can add a link to a website or a link to a document on your computer. The Scenes area is where you can add the scenes in which your character appears. We'll learn how to create a scene as part of the writing phase. The Locations area is where you can add locations that you've created in the Locations view. And finally, we have the Info area where you can add the role the character plays as well as their basic physical characteristics. Just a reminder, in any view to the left, to add a new item, highlight the view, click the Insert button, Give the item a name, assign a status, enter additional information, and then start writing away. Now it's time to start writing. Now the first method to write in StoryMill and the fastest way to get started is to first click Chapter 1 in the Novel view, change the status, and then start writing in the word processing area to the right. Now you can also add chapters by clicking on the Novel view and then clicking on the Insert button. Entering the additional information below is optional. It's up to you. Now let's talk about the second method, the Scenes method. Story Mill is based on the idea that each chapter in a novel consists of a series of scenes, much like scenes in a movie. First, click on the Scenes view, click on the Insert button, give your scene a name, Change the status to the right, enter any additional information,
and then start writing your scene in the word processing area. Let's take a look at the info area. This is where you link your scene to various aspects of your novel. To associate your scene with a particular chapter, click on the chapter menu and choose the chapter. To associate your scene with a storyline that you've created in timeline view, choose the timeline from the menu. To link a location that you've created in locations view, choose the location from the pull down list. Now to create a time frame in which your scene takes place, click on the calendar button, add the starting date and time, and then click the calendar button again to deselect the calendar. Do the same with the end date. Modify the date and time, and then click on the calendar button to deselect it. Finally, to link characters to the scene, go over to the characters section, click on the add button, and choose from the characters that you've created. Now to associate a scene with a particular chapter, simply drag and drop the scene underneath the chapter you want to attach it to. You can also change the order within the chapter by dragging and dropping the scenes in any order that you wish. Now finally, let's talk about the post-writing phase. This is accomplished in the Tasks view and in the Submissions view. The Submissions view allows you to write your queries in the word processing area and enter any contact information to help you keep an electronic paper trail. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. For more information, consult the user guide email us, or contact us via iChat. We're happy to help. For now though, start writing your masterpiece.